The thing that hasn't come up today is the question of, of the way in which the internet lowers the social cost of, of morally questionable behavior. Failed over server hosting and all of that stuff was all driven initially by the demands of the porno websites because they were pushing higher bandwidth than anybody else way before anybody else was pushing high bandwidth. But I think the more interesting question that arises from this is the lowering of cost for the participation in, pick your favorite social ill, pornography, violence, uh, know-nothing extremism of any sort, religious, political, uh, ins you know, insane, in whatever dimension, right? We've made it easy for people to do this in the privacy of their own home with no social context, with no physical human interactions involved, not just facial human interactions, but with no one knowing that they're doing it. And we are, you know, those of us who are not saints get our good behavior in no small part because we're observed, it seems to me. I mean, speaking personally, right? I recognize that this has decreased the, the gap between temptation and action. And that's directly down to the net and its properties. At a time when the sort of ethical basis that we're getting from social, social context, history, school, parents, whatever, is attenuated anyway, as is widely discussed, but nothing specific to do with the net. But you take that general lowering of the efficacy of, of moral tuition, if you will, and you add in the fact that the net makes it easier to sin, to just bumble it all up there, that seems to me to be something we really need to worry about. Let's not forget that the, that the internet also is a, provides greater access at low cost to lots and lots of other things, which are good. And um, I, can you have one without the other? The idea that I have a social identity, my identity is that I belong to X group. I may never, ever, ever have the opportunity to meet anybody else of that group or to be observed by anybody else of that group. And so if my identity, if, if my, my driver of self-development is to buy kittens with Santa Claus outfits <laughs> because I want to be like the people who buy kittens with Santa Claus outfits, then it has absolutely nothing to do with whether anybody can see, whether Amazon can identify the fact that I have bought kittens with Amazon outfits. And so by, by ignoring that other perceived other, then, then you're undermining the, 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 the agency of the human being. I think you and Mike are, are both pushing back in, in ways that I, uh, I endorse, right? The question is, can we get the, can we get the benefits without the disbenefits? Because it seems to me the disbenefits are very real. Um, and we all enjoy the benefits, but we're paying quite a high price.